Oh, oh man. How many times did you ask her if it's okay to stay in touch? <laughs> You're the master, bro. Like, I think you asked her and she said no like four times. And somehow, like, you circle back to it again and again. And again. I'm not gonna make fun of you. Like, you suck. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live cold calling session. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Excited about this one. I got my guy, JR, one month real estate agent up in Philly. What's up, buddy? What's happening, Ricky? I'm excited to do this. Yeah. You sound excited, man. Yeah. A little nervous. <laughs> no, you got me a little nervous. It wouldn't be natural for at least a little nervous. But uh, I'm following you now for you know about a month. I did that 28-day, 30-day challenge. I got my first listing by cold calling. So, so you've already got one listing one month in uh, as a new agent, just circle prospecting or what is it? Yep. Wow, dude. Wow. That's incredible, bro. What's the listing? Like what, uh, what price range? Two, 230. Nice. Three bed, two and a half bath, townhome. Okay. Sweet, man. So take me through that story real quickly, man. Like you called them kind of what happened? Just like the real quick story. Like how did this come to be? Sure. My approach. So, uh, hopefully this can help a few of you. I mean, I don't like to utilize, Hey, is this Mr. Smith? Like it's hard enough to get someone to pick up the phone. Right. So I don't even like go into that because I don't want to lose someone by not getting their name right. And we'll get into kind of, you'll see my scripting. My scripting is just generic. And actually this particular phone call was, I was trying to set appointments for appraisals and just say, hey, you know, would you like to know the value of your home? Uh, and the lady's like, sure. And I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, oh, she might know, you know, what's your house worth. But in the back of my head, I was like, look, let's envision this like going through. So phone call caller Thursday said, hey, can I meet you 9 a.m. Saturday? She said, yeah, kids, I'll be up. I said, okay, no problem. I'll meet you Saturday. You know, talk to her. I wasn't even sure she was like ready to sell. She was like, look, I owe 155. Like, you know what I mean? How much do you think I'm going to lose on the sale? Like 20% of the house? I'm like, no, you're not going to lose 20% of the sale. I was like, maybe like 8%. She's like, well, I owe 155 on the house. So like, where do you think we can list it? I was like, probably list 230. You can probably get that. Okay, buddy. What, what are we looking like over here, man? I want to hear some phones ringing like some... I want to hear some some dialing, some uh so I, I mean I'm calling a community, it could be some renters in there. Um it's yeah, like a, it's man. Called, awesome, man. You, you know, get a great. human being on the phone, bro. A human being that's, on the phone. That's what we want. Humans. Uh, hey, this is JR from Keller Williams. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thanks for asking. I just listed a home for sale in your area and I was calling to see if there's anything I could do for you. Thank you. Okay. Well, in the event you want to buy, sell, or rent real estate, who would help you? Oh, not right now. Thank you. Well, I'm not thinking about right now. In the event that you needed help, would it be okay just to keep in touch? Yeah, I could tell she hung up. You're you're long winded there. You're like, oh, well, in the event, right? In the event, you're talking about like it, like it's a monsoon, right? Like yeah. in the event that a hurricane or you know an earthquake hits, <laughs> and you decide you want to not only buy but also possibly rent or sell or lease or borrow or <laughs> you started naming off the different ways you can buy and stuff, different things you can do with real estate, bro. That was hilarious. Hello? Hey, this is JR with Keller Williams. How are you? Yeah, yeah. I just listed a home for sale in your area and I was calling to see if there's anything I can do for you. Uh, I'm sorry, can you uh, say that again? I said, I just listed a home for sale in your area and I was calling to see if there's anything I could do for you. Um, my house for sale? Yeah, I, I, I have a home for sale in your area, so I was calling you today to see, uh -huh. to see if there's anything I could do for you. Okay, uh, no. Well, is there an agent that you would work with if you needed uh, to buy or sell? I don't think I have a house for sale, and where do you get that information? Um, uh, I think it's our neighbor, they just said. They just sold a house. Not, uh, yeah, not so I know a home did sell in your neighborhood. I have a listing up the street as well. So I'm just making calls out, you know, letting the people know that I'll be here to assist if they needed a real estate need. So I was just calling you specifically to see if you were looking to, you know, make a move. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We, we don't have that. that yeah. I'm sure you're probably going to do something in the future, wouldn't you think? Uh, maybe not. Uh, not enough. So in the event that you were going to buy and sell, would it be okay just to keep in touch so maybe I could help you? Uh, no, I think we should be, I, I will look for people if I need that. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's why I want to just keep in <laughs> touch while I had you on the phone. Uh, it doesn't look like you'd be working with anyone. Can I just get your email address? We could just keep in touch that way. Uh, I would try. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye.
What am I supposed to do there, Ricky? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, 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 man. How many times did you ask her if it's okay to stay in touch? <laughs> You're the master, bro. Like, I think you asked her and she said no like four times. And somehow, like, you circle back to it again and again. And again. I thought you were making fun of you. Like, you suck. No, no, that was hilarious. No, that was great on your part. Yeah, that was incredible. Hey, this is JR with Keller Williams. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm happy. I appreciate that. I just listed a home for sale in your area, so I was calling to see if there's anything I could do for you. I don't know. We're okay for now, thank you. In the event you were looking to buy or sell, make a move, do you have someone you'd work with? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Is that an agent with Keller Williams? Uh, no, at one point they were, but I, I don't care if they are anymore. Real people. Okay. Yeah. Well, in the event you couldn't reach them, would it be all right? Maybe I could just keep getting the email address from you, keep you on my monthly uh, email list, and, you know, if something comes up, you can't reach them, maybe I could assist? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Thanks. We're pretty settled here for a while. So. All right. I appreciate that. Well, if you need anything, this is my cell phone. Feel free to reach out. All right. Thank you for calling. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. Uh, a couple of people? tips, man. A couple okay. of tips. Okay. A couple of tips. Number one, you sound very scripty, which is totally normal right now. You're one month in. Okay. Yeah. What, what you need to do to try to break that up is something, not necessarily the weather, but something right there. You know how I do that weather thing? Yeah. Right. Something, just a small talky thing, just to try to make everybody feel comfortable. Okay. Yeah. yeah I could have talked to obviously. Right. Cause you're like kind of like going right to the next thing. And it sounds like you're just reading in a book, you know, it's just like sold a thing. And you're like, Oh, that, it just sounds so like you're ready for it and you've got it memorized and you're going for it. It's not like a natural organic conversation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Totally fine right now. Totally fine. You just, there's something to work on, but you never tell somebody that you're going to put them on a list. You never tell them that because now they feel like they're just another number, somebody on your huge list. And you never tell anybody you're going to send them a market report. They're immediately going to say no, right? They get plenty of market reports and stuff. Okay. So what you do is, is you say, Hey, would it be okay if I stayed in touch with you? Right. And then they say, sure. Then you say, cool. What's a good email for you? I'm not telling them I'm going to put them on a list. I'm not telling them I'm going to send them any market information. I'm just saying, Hey, I just want to stay in touch with you. See what I'm saying? And I get them to commit, to commit to it being okay for me to stay in touch with them before I ask for the email. So it's like, is it okay if I stay in touch with you? And then I wait for them to say yes. Then I say, cool. What's a good email for you? Yeah, we got great, right? I can't believe so many people picked up so far. You got good sessions and bad sessions, man. You know, that's just the way it works. At the end of the day, when you average it all out over a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, it's going to be a 10% pickup rate. That's how it's going to go, man. That's how it's going to go. Hey, this is JR with Keller Williams. How are you? How are you doing? I'm happy. I appreciate you asking. I just listed a home for sale right down the road from you, and I was calling to see if you needed anything. Who was this again? I'm sorry. My name's JR. I'm a realtor with Keller Williams. Oh, I just, I just got a house. Oh, did you? Congratulations. Where'd you buy? Uh, in Grizzly Park. Okay. All right. Great. I'm familiar with that area. Hey, would there be an opportunity in case like you needed help around the house? I, I also have like a good vendor list. Um, I assume this is your cell phone? Yeah. All right. Maybe construction and all that. Yeah. Yeah. I can help you out. Is, is there um, a good email address I could uh, keep in touch with you? Can you sign up right here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess is this your cell phone? Okay. Yeah. What's a good email address for you? Uh, thank you for your time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll send you a text. If you can just send me right. um, send me your email address. Um, it's just probably easier you know, to, to keep in touch right. that way. All right. I appreciate it. All right. All right, man. There you go, bro. That was good. That was good. The tonality was good. The speed was good. The delivery was good. Mm -hmm.